Tonight, we're putting two claims through the News for Jack's Trust Index, both related to the COVID-19 pandemic. One is related to reports of vaccine-related injuries, and the other is a social media claim about where you put the swab when you're taking an at-home COVID test. Will swabbing your throat be more accurate than swabbing your nose when you're using at-home COVID test kits? It's an assertion that several TikTok users are making on the social media platform. While medical experts say the Omicron variant is more likely to infect the throat rather than the lungs, Dr. Sherrod Patel with UF Health Jacksonville says swabbing your throat can sometimes lead to false results. It's not just about where the most virus is. It's about that test medium that they're using is designed to work when you when you take the swab a certain way. You run the risk of, of contaminating that swab if you do it in the back of your throat. Patel says if the home test kit specifically asks you to swab the back of your throat, then do so. But the general rule is to follow the instructions provided to you by the test manufacturer. So to the claim that COVID-19 test kits are more accurate when you swab through your throat, the News for Jack's Trust Index team rates this statement as be careful. The second claim the News for Jack's Trust Index team is fact-checking comes from an article on the website WorldNet Daily, where the headline states one million COVID vaccine injuries now reported on the CDC's database. The article references the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System, commonly known as VAERS, which is maintained by the CDC. The article claims they have recorded more than one million COVID vaccine-related adverse events. A quick search of the CDC's official website reveals Vayers accepts and analyzes reports of possible health problems after vaccination as an early warning system. Vayers cannot prove that a vaccine caused a problem. It goes on to say specifically a report to Vayers does not mean that a vaccine caused an adverse event. Adding that anyone can submit a report to Vayers, healthcare professionals, vaccine manufacturers, and the general public. VAERS welcomes all reports regardless of seriousness and regardless of how likely the vaccine may have been to have caused the adverse event. Dr. Patel says the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have been proven scientifically that they are safe. So the News for Jack's trust index team to the claim that one million COVID vaccine injuries are now reported rates this claim as be careful. As the CDC says, its database includes a variety of reports, regardless of how likely it was that the vaccine caused the issue. We do want to note that federal health officials say that if it looks like a vaccine could be causing a problem, they will investigate and they will take action if needed. Stay up to date with the COVID developments by subscribing to our coronavirus newsletter. Today you can read about the calls for more COVID-19 testing at trusted venues. Just head to newsforjax.com newsletters to sign up.